So I have here this uh, Tiger Electronics Simon's Quest game, LCD game. These were popular in the very late 80s, uh, early 90s mostly, and all throughout. Um, they played these rudimentary little LCD games with simple commands. A lot of kids um, that are now grown nowadays grew up with these. Um, kind of were cashing in on the uh, Game Boy uh, era at the time, especially. Uh, you'd have Double Dragon, you'd have um, IPs like uh, Transformers, Disney, Disney like Little Mermaid, Aladdin, um, and then um, arcade and Nintendo games. So uh, this one here was given to me my, to my, uh, by my brother to uh, fix up, and uh, he had gotten it uh, secondhand at a, um, some kind of show. Um, I managed to get, I did have this open, but today what we're going to do is, I'm going to explain it. I opened it up already. I do have it working. Um, contacts, I cleaned them up a little bit. And I opened this up, so it looks a little funky in here. Um, I went behind here. Uh, I can go through that later if somebody wants. Let's see. I, but I, I kind of did that off camera. But I undid these and I cleaned out behind the membranes and kind of cleaned it up a little bit. It was a little gross in here. And the grossness can be uh, shown by this uh, speaker here. So the one thing that this uh, unit is having an issue with is there's no sound. It comes on, but there's no sound. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I want to show everybody exactly the situation here. So I'm going to put some batteries in. And if I remember, they go in like this. Yeah, what I was saying was anybody, if there's demand and, and people really want to tear down to this system, I could certainly do it. Um, but for the most part, so as you can see here, it's a little hard to see it under the lighting here, but yeah, you know, it's on. Um, and you can start it. But if you listen, You can hear some very faint sounds. So I, I think it's working to a point, um, but I know they're definitely supposed to be a lot louder than this. I have no idea how to play this, by the way. I, I, I was never a real big fan of these games. I was a little older when they came out. and I mean, I can see the draw, though. I mean, I think some of them are just better than others. But, um, yeah, I mean... For all intents and purposes, the buttons are now working. Before, they were a little hit or miss. Uh, the power wasn't really coming on because uh, I think the contacts are a little uh, messed up. But, um, yeah, it, it's it's very low sounding, um, if any sound. So that's why I figured today, why don't we I do a quick video. Uh, we're going to try replacing the uh, speaker. And I'll show you here. So, from what I understand, the insides of these units can be a little different depending on the game, um, from my understanding, because I've seen pictures of the insides of these things over the years. Some of them have different placement of, of where things are. Um, some have, I think, even bigger speakers. So, I already kind of took this to a degree where you can see here, once again, the speaker is really disgusting looking. I mean, obviously, that's not normal. Uh, we have two terminals here running through and back to the unit. And the way this was in here was kind of like this, where, um, let me see if I can get it back on. This piece was snapped, in, the speaker was snapped into this plastic holder, and it was kind of oriented like this. There's these tabs here, and it went over top kind of like this and just fit into place, just like that. So... I was measuring out, this is a, one of these little piezo speakers. I was measuring it out, and I figured, let me look on Amazon. I'll try to give her a placement. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you can't just get one. I ended up with 15. <laughs> so, um, I guess if one of these doesn't work, I mean, we can always try another one. So, I don't know how often I'm going to use these things, but what the heck. Let's go pull one out of here. Now, unfortunately, even though I measured them, I, I guess, I don't know what I did wrong. I probably, I must have hit the wrong one. Um. Obviously, this is a little bigger <laughs> than the one that's included with the with the system. That said, though, if you look here, you'll notice 
it's almost like they planned ahead. Like I said, the insides of these units seem to differ. And if you go and look, this guy fits right in there. Boom, right inside there. Uh, it's almost like this size would also fit and this size would also fit in here. And that's probably why they have that holder in there. I guess it was just mixing and matching the shells and the size and the dimensions of these uh, internals. So even though it's a little bigger, I, th I think we're going to be okay. Uh, essentially, this thing, all it does is make little click, 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 click sounds. So uh, you're not going to get much out of this anyway. And I'm hoping this will suffice. We're going to give it a try. So my plan is to desolder this, desolder this, and just pop the wires right back on here. It shouldn't take too long at all, I'm hoping. So I've been talking. I've been trying to warm up my soldering iron a little bit. It's seen better days. Um, I'm hoping it'll... Let me see, I can just tin this up a little bit. And... Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is try to get these wires off here first. Shouldn't be much to them. I'm no neck expert uh, solderer here, so I know enough to get me by. I'm not going to be doing any uh, circuit board work or anything like that, but I do like messing around with little jobs like this when I can, just to try to get things going. So now that that's done, let me see if I can uh, feed these through here and take that off. I'm not going to use that. This was actually hard, like all one piece. Uh, I had to snip this uh, in between, in between here. I don't know. It was kind of like that. So I had to take some um, cutters and just snip each side to get this off. And then the bad speaker just kind of popped out on top of it. So. Put that aside for now, and yeah, these are all kind of bunched together. I'm just going to leave them be. So let me get these wires off here. So just want some helping hands would probably come into play, right? No fingernails. All right. There you go. I don't think it makes a difference which one these go on. I'm actually going to lay that in there first, I think. Well, maybe I won't because I don't want to melt that plastic. Eh. Let's just do this. This isn't that big of a job, right? They're kind of cramped together, I'd say. I think that should be it. Yeah. All right. Let's give this a try, huh? Don't know if it's going to work, but it'd be cool if it did. Be a neat, neat little fix. And I'm hoping. Um, we have some success here. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try putting this down in here like this. And that should cover right over like that. But to keep this kind of in there, I have a little bit of cap capped on tape here. I'm going to see if I can... Cut some of this off here and just kind of lay it over top. Just to kind of keep it down from bouncing around a little bit. And I think what we can do is finally kind of close this back up. Um, but real quick, you know, while we're in here, I'm going to show you the other side of this board. So to get this off, we're going to take these out. Fortunately, this is not a magnetic screwdriver. That one's always a hard one to get out because there's nothing on the sides of it. One, you should have uh, four screws total here, at least on this unit. So there's two, and down here is three, and then finally this bugger over here. Gonna lift this up. Be careful because this is attached to the, this is the LCD screen here, and it's got its own separate screws. But if you slowly lift it up, you'll see these are the membranes for the uh, action buttons, and over here are the other membranes for the other action buttons. And underneath here, you'll see the um, contacts for the uh, membranes. You know when you push down. They're pushing onto them, therefore making like an electronic uh, contact to translate to something in the game, whatever game you're playing, whip, move. And then these are the uh, just membranes for the um, sound and and uh, sound on and off, uh, power on and off. And there's also a little one under here for you to clear the uh, memory. So yeah, that's pretty much how that one goes. Um, like I said, the, the, they're all different on the inside, and uh, that's just how this particular one is set up. I mean, I think there's other ones that are laid out similar to this, um, I'm sure. I want to make sure you get some, I want to make sure you get some uh, force back here. You want to tighten these, I mean, don't over tighten them, but you want to make sure they're nice and tight because this board is pushing down on on the front here so when you you can get a good contact with the buttons you don't want them to be all loosey-goosey nah. these ones on the ends are weird because uh, ah, shoot. it fell in there all right the ones on the ends are weird because they have this opening to them, and I think I'm going to screw them in first. I don't have this problem happen again. There's like this weird opening, and uh, I'm sorry, my hand's in the way, I know. Apologize. I'm trying to find a, a good angle where I can kind of get most of what I was doing in shot. I just did it again. There you go. Still don't want to go in there. Ah, this is a pain.
I really need to get a magnetic screwdriver for this. I had this handy, but... Maybe I shouldn't have done a tear down. <laughs> you know what? I think that screw is just a little off center there. Can't get that guy in there. I don't remember having this trouble before. There you go. Not missing anything, sorry. It was just me aiming the screw. All right, one more to go. Then we can give this bad boy a test. All right, here we go. So this is just gonna lay around top, like so. There you go. Not much to it. All right, and then we got the four main speaker, or excuse me, screws right here that we got to put in. There's one, two, three, four. There should be pretty easy though. We can just drop them right in. And this is the grill back here for that speaker we just put in. So it's outside facing and coming out the back here. And we got one more top here. All right, let's turn this on, see how it goes. Keep our fingers crossed. Never worked on one of these before, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Now what's funny is, it's got a mute, it looks like this must be a mute button. There is sound. Hear the ticking? It's just not very loud. It seems louder than it was before though. Yeah, I don't know. Their sound, although I don't think it was much different than it was before. I was hoping that this batter, or the, excuse me, the speaker being so rusted and disgusting, yeah, that's nasty, was maybe the root of the issue. But maybe that's just how it is. In any case, the game seems to be working. It's just not very loud. Game over. Let's try it again. So it looks like whip is back and then up and then jump there. You whip, whip. Uh, is this guy going to die? I don't really know how to play this. All right, well, it does have some sound. You can hear it, so it, it, 
the mission was a success, but uh, I think it's just the limitations of the hardware here. Unfortunately, it's just it's just not very loud. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just old, and maybe that's as much as it's going to give us. Um, anyway. At the very least, I hope this was an interesting little teardown of the device, to at least maybe for people who want to replace the speaker, who have a, who have a bad speaker. Um, you can find these on Amazon. Only $5. I was hoping it'd be a little louder. Uh, I don't know if that's just how, maybe that's just how it normally is. I swore it was a little louder than that, but uh, if anybody has anything to say in the comments that might be uh, helpful, I don't think I missed anything. There were the two output wires that go to the speaker and they're on there. So, yep. Anyway, that's about it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.